What's that, guys? You're just having a Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is Grand Finals. We have Akiro versus Hoenn. Hoenn coming from loser's bracket, Akiro coming from winners. Hey, give him the L. Yeah. By losing? Yes! So Hoenn's got to win two best of fives versus Akiro. Has anything ever said it more impossible to you? That sounds rough, I'm going to be honest. Good luck to him. Especially today was the first time I, I ran into Akira in bracket, and it was a. Uh, I mean, it was actually a really fun match. Yeah, you had a good set against him. It was fun. Alright, here we go. Akira. All these characters. I'm going to describe everybody in this, in this set as aggressive rushdowns. Not aggressive, smart rushdowns. I would say smart rushdown. Because they both like to play mind games. They both go for. Well, Akira goes for less reads. Akira just is a. Amazing. Oh, look over there. Uh oh. Look over there. You see uh oh. God, and that is Pikachu's like absolute best offstage option. Akira is trying to immediately respond though. I think he's upset. I think he's mad. No, Akira doesn't have emotions. See, you know what we have a salty Shane in attendance. <laughs> salty Shane, say hi to the stream. <laughs> Shut up, stream. <laughs> I like salty Shane. I've never beaten Shane in bracket before today. Really? It felt good. I'm like one and four against him now all time. Oh, Sheik without Rejo is going to have a really hard time stealing Pikachu's stock. Um, Pikachu isn't as light as you would expect either. Particularly off the sides. Akira has a little... Uh, not Akira on a series. Sheik has a harder time getting off the top. Oh, he beats... Oh, that was so perfect. That was so perfect. Alright, so Akira. So yeah, there is. It's a, so Akira has pretty much brought this back. I mean, one combo and he's gonna pretty much recover this. Both of these players are very combo oriented. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's pretty much even now. I love Akira incorporating that forward smash in the combo. Yeah, and I've actually. He started incorporating grenades too, and that's something not a lot of Sheik players do. I mean, it's a hard move to punish, to be honest, if you're not a really fast character. And that's something that's, I think, both these players are going to start doing as they play each other more and more. It's just throwing out less obvious options. Yeah, definitely. And now we've got a Kuro going to the stage. Oh, nice. Let's trump. The Kuro special. That is one of Sheik's best kill options, for sure. If it weren't for that platform, that might have been a Kuro's second song. Oh, he's working on that chain grab. He's working on it. How true is that chain grab? Um, like, how long does it last? Not to? as true on Pikachu as. And then I think the rule. I, I'm not sure what the rule is about how the chain grab proofing works in this game. Because the way it works is basically there's X amount of seconds where you can't read. Yeah, it's one full second. Oh, it's only one. Yeah. Okay. But that's a lot longer than you think in match. Yeah, definitely. Definitely beat then that that up air definitely beats out the, the grab vulnerability. Oh yeah, definitely. That? Ooh. Not gonna kill. She is at rage now. God, that back air is so hard to tag. Did he go Pikachu in front? Who uh Hoenn? Yeah. Uh no, he beat me with Diddy Kong. That's pretty good. I had his I think I had his Pikachu pretty pretty well locked like locked down. I actually, I used to think Pikachu was Rosalina's worst matchup uh, in agreement with Hoenn, but uh, after after I started to crouch a lot in the matchup, and it really like made the match feel go from like hopeless chasing Pikachu to like now Pikachu is having a hard time hitting me, and that really out with the too. yeah. Well, that's just yeah in the crouch stance, just throwing out uh, like down tail was such a good like thing against Pikachu. And then I think I think Hoenn recognized that. Woo! Ho! Vanish! Hoenn got a little greedy and eats a vanish straight to the face. Akira takes game one. Where's that cheap wind screen? That looks unfamiliar. <laughs> Says no Smash player ever. Man, that cheek is so weak. You need to buff. Says no Smash player. Ever. Whenever 
right back to Smash, but respect. That's how I feel when I play against a girl. It's just like, why well, pick a different stage? I need to learn to beat you just on an even stage. I actually feel a lot more comfortable against him on, on Battlefield versus Final Destination. But yeah, I'm on Battlefield. It goes just the same. <laughs> At least last time I played. Ooh. Alright, remember guys, after this, I think we're going to just go straight into a podcast. Yeah, we'll... I don't think we have time for friendlies after this, because we're already past 9. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, I know uh, we, we promised to co a podcast at 9 o'clock. Unfortunately, the tournament's running a little bit later than we wanted. Uh, but So as soon as this tournament is over... As soon as the hero's done with this 3-0, we're going to run right into it. <laughs> My hero's looking actually for a clean sweep tonight. He won threes. He won the threes. I, basically, I guess that was basically a show match. A 3v3 show match. Basically. We didn't really have a bracket. No real bracket. Just best of five. Oh. Sweet spot! Not an idiot. Just he won twos with Dicey. Yeah. Seemed too good for you. Wow, that wasn't even a stage but That was just a raw kill. No one's rising his level of play here today. Definitely. We've seen a lot of players improving. Wow, that combo! <laughs> we got spot dodges. And no punish from Holland. Holland just keeps doing it. I don't think he knew that you could just keep spot dodging it. My skill is broken. I don't know how fast. Like, the question was how fast is the forward tilt punishing it out and spot dodging it. And it looks like it is fast enough. The, the new combos. Oh, there you go. Oh! Not gonna kill. We got DI today. We could choose living. But she only at 28% right now. Yeah. Poor Natalie has an uphill battle here. Poor Smash is a little too slow after it beats it out. What is, what's the what's the story behind Hoenn's Poor Natalie tag? Don't even know. Natalie is someone he knows and he plays for. All that money. I made, oh, I made money. it down. I made, I actually made behind like $8 oh! uh, <laughs> after, after all my like entry fees and stuff, like, I made $1. Did you pay for food here today? Yeah. So I've made no dollars. <laughs> that's Yo, okay. That's Smash Life. You, I actually, this is my first time coming out negative. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm okay with it. And you haven't played a yet? <laughs> this is my first time I ran into him in bracket. Oh, okay. Uh, forward tilt. First of all, Pik why is Pikachu alive at 165? Because he's fighting Sheik. Yeah. Sheik with no rage. Good DI to get out of there. Oh, nice bouncing, bouncing fish. fish. Bouncing fish basically in place. Aiming that isn't as easy as it looks. Oh, I think he wanted the uh, the chain grab, but didn't get it. He hit with the last. If you hit with the last hit of it, you miss it. Yeah, it knocks you up. I haven't really seen any Sheiks implementing the, uh... Have you seen, have you really seen Sheiks implementing her chain grab yet? No, um, I don't know how useful it is in this matchup either. Or how practical. Yeah. Oh, the up smash gonna seal out Sheik stock. If you get in there, if you hit with just, like, the tip of the tail, it actually has, like, a third the knockback. But if you're, like, right in there, like, you dash right into them and you up smash, it's still an absurd kill move. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it has been for so long. I mean, it was the only... I, I remember back in Melee, it was the only oh! one. Oh! Oh! Too low. Hit him with the Hoenn special. Let's see if it pays off in Game 3. Maybe it's a little little mental psych out. Yeah. Uh, you can tell Hoenn enjoys <laughs> this match, even though he's down. He, he likes running into these brick walls. He wants to play. That's one thing you have to admire about him, no matter how big of a hoback he is. What? What do you have to admire about him? Is that what you have to admire about him? Because that's all I really hope Salty Shane is in the, is in the podcast. No, well, you better, you better stay as Salty Shane. I'm not Salty. I'm Okay, Science Shane. Thank you. 
I like Salty Chamber too much. It's too good a name. See, what I find interesting is when these players... Like, hypothetically, if I were to take a game off of Hero, and then I went to game 3 when we played, would... And I, I was just saying I want to go Smash all the way. And that's what Hoenn's doing here. Does a Hero counter pick? Is that scumbaggy? Uh... You know, I think Akiro is so comfortable on this stage that it's, even for him, this probably could be his counter pick. But, to answer your question, uh, I mean, I, mean, I don't like, think it's scummy. I think he's he's out here to win. He wants to win. Yeah, and, I, uh, I agree. It's fine if Hoenn wants to keep taking him, like, if, if Hoenn wants to keep taking him here. But, if I'm Akiro, like, Hoenn's still gonna have to learn to play him on other stages. Yeah. It's not like you can just play him and smash. No! That went the other way. That was a stop. Oh, and now it's going the other way again! Still no kill! Man, he's landing these thunder combos! Use the quick attack to mix up his recovery. That's a little bit of an unlucky break there for Hoenn, though. Definitely. Oh, he's gonna get that forward smash. Gets a nice read. Oh, and Hoenn's neutral game right now is really impressive. Definitely. He's getting up! Back air. Oh. Akira's taking, having a really hard time sealing out Pikachu's stock. Oh, oh but Hoenn has no difficulty He's sealing his own. Hoenn. Yeah. Okay. Hoenn has no difficulty sealing his own stock, so... This 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 match is back to basically even. One combo from Akiro and it's gonna be an even game. Yep. And here we go. We're talking about it. He tries to get out that combo breaker thunder. That if thunder. Comes down frame one. Yeah. If any vulnerable frame, there will be a piece of thunder coming in your face. But I mean, Sheik's combos are so mobile that it's not really a great option for Pikachu. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Oh! And just messes like up, that. Messes up the DI. What? Akiro? Did he even take damage that stock? No. Oh. Just like that, the gift stock by Hoenn. Akira is one stock away from ceiling first place. I think Hoenn does need to work on his mental stamina a little bit. I agree. I mean, he always talks about how he doesn't get nervous and things, but I think uh, sometimes just the taxingness of like getting comboed a ton by Sheik gets to him. Playing against Akira is always taxing. That's, that's Definitely. I mean, you you really have to the keep... The platform oh. saved him. You really have to keep yourself mentally, like, while you're playing him. Okay, here's a little bit of the game that, uh, for Natalie wants to play. There it goes! That game! It's so hard to edgeguard Sheik, and, uh, Hoenn's doing a great job. His edgeguards have been so great today. His edgeguards are- his edgeguard game is one of the strongest edgeguard games I've seen from any player. Thanks! Shit. I said one of! God. <laughs> Don't get salty on me, Sturm. Uh, no, I'm not salty, Shane. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> wow! What an ending, ladies and gentlemen! That was insane! Akira wins it three to nothing, but... Wow! I'm impressed by Hoenn's play, nonetheless. Yeah, and Hoenn's smiling. He's laughing. He thought that end was kind of fun. No, I think the rest of us did man. as well. Smash Bros. is a fun game. You know what? We come in here as rivals, except for Shane. He might, uh, the rest of us usually leave pretty much as friends. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Chicago scene. Definitely a fun scene here.